Tonight, from Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. The Green Bay Packers taking on the Houston Texans. And we come to you from one of the truly iconic stadiums in the NFL as you get a look at Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. We all know this community lives for its Packers, and the green and gold came out of the tunnel a short time ago, and it was loud. We are ready for football. So are they as the Packers get set to match up with the Houston Texans. started and off we go from Lambeau takes this about five yards deep and they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25 so here comes the Packers offense now onto the field and they'll be led out by their quarterback from the University of Virginia it's Kurt Binkert and I liked what his head coach told us about him this week that no matter what happens he, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes He's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, especially when we're talking, talking about ordering dinner, ordering snacks. I was snacks. just going to say. That's, that's where I go. A throw left side to start the drive is complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Good. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. The ball carrier. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. To throw is Baker. That's caught. It's Robert Tanya, the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 48-yard line. Now Baker. He gets this to Devontae Adams. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Banker to throw. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. 
That one a first down pickup of eight. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Dillon now on first and 10. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Now a run with Dillon. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. On third down, he'll drop to throw. His throw caught right around the six. And the Packers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Certainly not what they wanted defensively. We're hoping to hold them to a field goal. Instead, they're able to convert the third and long here on the opening drive. So not only was it a flip and field position and a flip and fortunes, but how about mentally? You just described it. They were hoping to force him into a field goal there. Instead, they give up the big gain, and now it's first and goal. The offense has got them on their heels. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll run here with Dillon. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. But now it's third and goal. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. A very lengthy opening drive, as this will be play number 12, coming on third and goal. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he's got it! It's caught for a Packers touchdown! Alan Lazard there to make the grab. And the Packers take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback.
after the touchdown. Here's Crosby to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Texans offense going to go to work, and it is Deshaun Watson at quarterback. Had a chance to meet him while he was still at Clemson at a summer camp, partner. And this is one of the best kids you're going to meet out there. And he doesn't say a whole lot, but it's fun to watch how people respond to him. When he was a camp counselor, the kids just flocked around him like the Pied Piper, just as his teammates did while he was at Clemson. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their own 27. Out of the gun, he'll throw. Open man is QT, complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine at the 40-yard line. That's the end of the first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Nothing. Second and nine. Out of the gun, Watson. That's complete to his running back, Burkhead. It'll be a three-yard gain, and they're going to have a third down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays... They run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. A shotgun snap for Watson. This is Johnson. He's got it. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A fresh set of downs on a gain of 13 there for the Texans. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Watson to give. This is Johnson. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Second and 11 now. They'll run. This is Burkhead. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of one, now a loss of two, and they're staring at a third and 13. I think it might be time to move to a different section of the playbook there because back-to-back -back runs, both for loss. Now they have third and long coming up. So 
So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. From the gun, here's Watson. And that is incomplete. They went with the dive look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. On fourth down, out is the punter, Cameron Johnston to boot it away. Tyler Irvin back deep. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, the and they'll spot it right at the 20. At their own 20-yard line. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the passer. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something, because right now, they're just cutting them to shreds. Looking deep for Adams. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. I'm sure that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit and they may have to change accordingly. And his throw here is incomplete. He was looking for his running back, Aaron Jones, that time. And it's third down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. He'll drop to throw. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Defense. Oh man, you can't do that. So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down, you put a lot of emphasis on because third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're gonna stay on the field and start a new set of downs. First down, Dillon. Number credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll run now with Dillon. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The Texans here on third down, putting an extra defender in the secondary. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Got a man, it's Tanyan complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's a gain of 22 as we tick towards the two-minute warning. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory as they're down to the 29-yard line. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We remind you that coming up in two minutes time, we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action.
And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. Close there, he caught it, just wasn't able to stay in bounds. And that's where the sideline it was used as a 12th defender. You know, 11's legal. This one is an imaginary one, one that my college coach used to call Sammy Sideline. <laughs> Sammy Sideline can protect you at times, and in Nick's case, that's exactly what he did for the defenders. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive, as this is third and 10. Back to throw again. Able to find Lazard. And he lost the football. And the Texans scoop it. And he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. We have seen this before. And we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk. They'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. So the challenge comes in inside of two minutes, and it gets overturned. And it changes the whole format of what's about to happen because both sides had thought a certain call had been made. Now they have to flip back and start over. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Packers add on to their lead. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Now Crosby for the point after. It's good to make it 14 nothing. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. Taking it about the one. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Take over first and 10 at their own 26. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And in a spot like this, still more than a minute, I think if you put something on the board before halftime, that would go a long way towards helping them get back into the game. There actually is something to the psychology of the game at times, isn't there? How much better would they feel running into the locker room, as you noted, with something on the board in a positive fashion? You're exactly right. It's a great opportunity to get that done. On first and 10, Watson. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Now 
the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Another try after the first down sack. Watson, he'll find his tight end. It's Anthony Auclair. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the gun, Johnson. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on to punt for Houston. Here's Hervin to return. Call it an even 40-yard punt. 7-0 on the return. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. Month 56. Month 56. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He's got the hook up to Lazard. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Dancing to his left. He's going to take off with it, and he'll be stopped up at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. So they will tread backward on the holding penalty. And I know that they're going to get coached up and they'll get yelled at a little bit, but let's face it, it is hard not to do at the speed and pace that they play. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He'll get this to Lazard. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 16 yards, a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Brings up second and two at the Texans' 37-yard line. So we're at halftime here at Lambeau with the Packers 
taking the lead to the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half for the third-year quarterback. His guys have a two-touchdown lead as we hand it back over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. Taken in at the three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Texans take over first and 10 at their own 26 yard And now out comes Houston. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 26. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. That's complete to Claire, the tight end. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. That catch good for only a couple. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Throwing again on second down. Watson completing it to the right side. Johnson. Watson. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now it's Watson. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. A gain of six there on first. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Four receivers now, three to the right, one to the left. Second down and four. Watson looks to throw again, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and helped force the incompletion. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Again, it's Watson. And that is incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on to punt for Houston. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. 
They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Yeah, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some <laughs> gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Now Bankert. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Call that a very strong gain of 24. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Banker to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16. And another first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. To back good plays have them on the move on first down to throw his banker he'll get this into the hands of Dillon complete and he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds how about that shuffle pass? Or if you want to call it the shovel pass, that's fine, too. That's one of those plays that you can take a little bit of risk there because you're trying to throw the ball into the middle of the field where a lot of big bodies lurk, and they can knock it away, pick it off, but they were able to execute it successfully on that play. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now the throw here complete on the right sideline. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. That's a gain of four. Brings up third and one. They'll try and run for the first with Dillon. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. It's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Uh, he's got it. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. It's been all passing all the time on this drive. Five for five, and now first and goal. Feels like a case of until they stop us, we might as well keep running the offense that we like to run. Don't change up and do something different just because you think you need to. They'll try and pound it in with Dillon. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Taking it in from a yard. And the Packers add six to their lead. Partner, they had a good lead as they went into the half, and they came out here in the second half and found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes, and while this game is far from over, I love their approach. Next 
extra point try now for Crosby. And it is now 21 to nothing. So the drive there took six plays. And it was A.J. Dillon who capped it off with a touchdown run. Crosby to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And up to about the 26 yard line, just across the 25. The Texans take over first and 10 at their own 26. Now comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. The results for them so far, not that great. Well, not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 26. A give to Burkhead on first down. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Back to throw, Watson. Screen play, Johnson. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Burkhead. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 40 now on second down, Watson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 yards there and a first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Watson on first down. He's got a man, and that's Alex Erickson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 yards on back-to-back -back plays there, and that's another first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Now a first down throw, Watson. Oh, it's a screen pass, that's complete. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. You got the big lead defensively. 
willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. To the air yet again, Watson. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Well, oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. And this is going to be Packer football. Well, partner, I think it's safe to say they can mark this down as extremely frustrating. Here we are in the fourth quarter, and that last play, that turnover, I think it epitomizes what happened to them all day on offense. So symbolic, and that's why they're still being shut out. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. The drive starts with a carry by Dillon. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Second and nine now from the 21. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage. The stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. There for the tackle, Jacob Martin. Good gain there on first down. It keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. On second down, it's Jones. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Aaron Jones Just a yard up to the 39. He's brought down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Brings up third and four. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And this will be a Packers first down as good running gets him to about the 44. For a green bay. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. This is Dylan. It's a six yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. And I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. 
They run once more with Dillon. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Seven yards there and a first down. Starting to look like this drive it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. So it's all over, a Green Bay victory, and this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. Well, they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field, so you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that, a total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.